All right, let's go to Latte Reininger. The earliest surviving animated feature film uh, is a 1926 silhouette animation film by Latte Reininger. I won't even try to pronounce the name of this film. Um, it used color tinted film that, that created visual background effects. Um, he basically put these silhouette figures on several levels of glass plates with illumination from below and the camera vertically above. Later, a similar technique became the use of, uh, became the basis of the multi-plane camera, which was a revolutionary in animation, which was um, really perfected and largely attributed to a man named Walt Disney, who I'll get to in a bit. Uh, but here are some highlights from um, Latte Reiniger's film, which if you look closely, you can see elements that were very much lifted by Disney. And um, I can definitely see um, elements that are in modern Tim Burton films or specifically like, you know, the early um, stop-motion Tim Burton films. Um, I, I, I definitely want to say this is something that was going on around the world, this idea of doing kind of silhouette puppetry stop-motion. Um, so you've got character-driven cartoon kind of furry animals, you've got this abstract world, and you've got stuff like this happening. So this is like all happening, you know, in a kind of a simultaneous bubble if you will, in, in the animation world. And um, I think each one was feeding off the other and it started to evolve into, I think, what was about to be the big revolution um, with Disney coming up in a second. But watch this first. <laughs> 